Hello everybody and welcome to Camp Bunny Scoutmaster season. Yes, as promised, I am going to be doing the Scoutmaster season because uh, I got the full game uh, a while back. So I'm wanting to do that, share that with you guys. But first off, I want to uh, thank all 156 subscribers. Thank you all to all of you who subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Uh, it would really appreciate it even more if you guys could join up with my uh, Patreon, become a Patreon contributor. Uh, remember, all the funds that go there go directly to charity. I don't see a pin of it. It just goes directly to charity. And for those of you who want to receive any uncensored scenes from videos that I record from any of the, the show, uh, visual novels that I've done... You must become either a member on the $9 tier or the $25 tier of my Patreon. Um, all the funds that go directly go there go directly to charity, of course. I don't see a penny of it. And I will acknowledge your name at the end of every video to show appreciation for becoming a Patreon contributing member. <clears throat> you can find the link to my Patreon within the description area just below the video. So, let's get started. I got past, um, I got past a certain section. Yeah, I got past, um, let's see. I got past, like, day one kind of part up until they started talking about the past. So, I stopped it at that point because well the first part of it was actually in the uh, demo version which I recorded and shared here on Facebook not on Facebook I mean YouTube excuse me I don't want to talk about Facebook right now <clears throat> but anyway yeah I shared it on YouTube that was from the uh, demo some of the this is all new because it's a full game so a lot of the stuff that's going to be showed was not in the demo of course so let's get started go to settings first go to full game Main menu, yes. Okay, we're turning in. Farah. And I'll be back in a moment. I gotta put a sign on my door. Not that it helps, but it helps a little bit. Just a little, give you a little bit of insight. Um, the the characters are from like in the past. The, uh, their younger selves, of course. Uh, Goro, you got Yuri, you got uh, Yoshinori, and you've got Aiden, of course. And to the right, to the right of uh, Goro is his ex-wife Vera. Uh, and to the left of uh, Aiden is Andre, which is uh, Aiden's father, of course. Apparently, uh, Andre used to work here at the camp, and 
course, Aiden helped him out. He actually became a member of, of the camp. Because I guess uh, Yoshinori talked, uh, talked me into it or whatever. So, let's just get started and then you'll figure out what's going on here. Vera, let's settle this later, alright? Hmm, fine. Come on! Come on, join us in the pick. Come on! Let her be, Dad. Just come here already. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir Goro? You do everything alright, Sir Goro. Oh. Oh, haha. Ha. Well, it's nothing. My wife's just a little tired, is all. Yeah, right. She just doesn't want to be here, obviously. I mean, they did get a divorce in the future. All right. All right, Mr. Andre, we're ready. Three, two, one, cheese. Wow. Would you look at that? It's already printing. That's really cool. Please? Can I see? Can I see? Yeah! We look so cute here. Yuri. If you want, I can frame it for you in, uh, to hang it inside the office, Yuri. Right? No way! No way. This is going in my armor. <laughs> now, of course. Anyway. Anyway. A special day like this is worth a treat. I brought you guys your favorite uh, Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, wow! <clears throat> oh, wow. Score. Huh? Neapolitan? What's that? Aiden! It's three ice cream flavors in one, Aiden. Dad always gets this one since we can't agree on just one. And besides, the colors match us too. Sorry for me, vanilla for dad, and chocolate for Yoshi. <laughs> Since Aiden is an official part of our squad now, we should add one more flavor next time. Oh! Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> it should definitely be something green. That's totally your color. Y Yuri! Did you really have to narrow it down like that? You should let Aiden pick whatever he likes. It's alright. It's okay, Yoshi. I really have the chance to eat ice cream, so I don't know what my favorite flavor is yet. Well... <clears throat> well... All... You all might want to eat up before it melts. At your service. I'll serve some up at the mess hall. Just follow me. Come on. Come on, Aiden. Let's have, let's have you try all the flavors first. H hey! Hey, Yuri. Sir Goro? Aren't you kind of Sir Goro? Yoshinori. I'll catch up late, uh, after a phone call. Please go ahead, Yoshinori. Sir! I'll save you the metal thing, sir. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Wow. Y'all look so different here. Hmm. When was this taken again? Dad! It's around the time you got my first camera, Dad. Almost a decade ago, during Camp Buddy's first ever term. Sheesh! I barely recognize myself there. Has it really been that long? Ah. <sighs> 
see this like this feels so nostalgic. It really takes me back. <laughs> how, how all your hair turned gray in less than a decade, perhaps. Hmm. <clears throat> Speak for yourself, Aiden. It's hard to believe that a twig like you would bulk up in a couple of years. Oh, oh. Talking about my glow up, huh? I'll take that as a compliment. Aww. But you and Yoshi look so youthful with your skinny, twinky bodies. Not that I have complaints about your bi muscles now. <sighs> Time sure has flown by, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I miss being a scout. It was the happiest time of my life. <clears throat> anyway, why don't we finish up here before you get too carried away, Yuri dear? Actually... Actually, I got all the things I need from the shed. I'll leave the cleanup to you guys. Eh? Where are you going? Hmm. I haven't seen my journal in years. Let me have my moment. Though, it'll probably take a while to read through all the entries. I'll let you guys know if there's some cool stuff in here. Bye! <clears throat> you really can't stop her when she starts obsessing over something. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. What else is new? <laughs> Anyways. I think all we need to do is take the trash out when we're done here. And then we're done here. Why... Don't you guys give me a hand, and I'll treat you both to a beer. I agree. Sounds good to me. I can use a little stress relief after today. What do you say, Yoshinori? Uh, uh. Yes, I'd be happy to join. Sweet. Great. Let's go then. Excuse me. <sighs> Thanks again for helping me with the chores, guys. It's no problem, Aiden. I rarely get the chance to help. Yeah, thanks for taking over your voice lines. Give me a break. You've pretty much kept our camp running over the years. <clears throat> oh, and you can see the Camp Buddy uh, poster, at, ad poster in the background, obviously, because it's one of the places where they put it up. That's pretty cool. Oh, cramps. It's always so nice to hear a compliment from you. Hey, I always give them out when they're due. <laughs> That's true, but it's hard to please you, Gramps. You only praise us once in a blue moon. Well, I was telling Yoshinori earlier today how I've been trying to be more easygoing around you guys. Especially after how I was the past few years. Ah, don't sweat it, Gramps. We know you just had plenty of management matters to deal with. Well, I'm at it. Thanks again for treating us to these nice cold drinks. It's been a while since I had a beer like this. Don't be so obvious about it. We're not supposed to have them in public. So why are you? Why are you drinking in public? What? 
I used to drink these outside all the time. When did that change? Ugh, sheesh, seriously? I thought you of all people would know the local rules. You knew about that too, right, Yoshi? You've been out drinking with me before. Yoshinori? Uh, sorry. What were you guys talking about? Are you alright, Yoshinori? You seem to be spacing out again. Oh no, sir, I'm fine. Come on, something's definitely up. You've barely said anything ever since Yuri showed us that picture. That's true. Did it bring up a bad memory or something? No, the opposite, actually. Seeing us all together back then made me think about all the things that happened in the past. Huh? What do you mean, exactly? Well, back then, Sir Goro was our scoutmaster. And we were the ones having a great summer at camp. Thinking about how fun it was, it really made me want to relive those moments again. I look back on those days fondly as well. Having scouts like you in the very first term really helped solidify my passion for Camp Buddy. <laughs> those were some of our best memories together, after all. Yeah, but the thing is, I feel like I've forgotten what it's like to enjoy myself without worrying about everything else. It made me realize that ever since I became a scout master, I've been so single-mindedly focused on the present and future of Camp Buddy. I think I'm partly to blame for that. The time I left you in charge on your own without proper guidance caused a far greater burden on you. Uh, that's not what I meant, sir. Becoming a Scoutmaster there has always been my dream, and now that I've achieved that goal, it makes me look back at why I wanted it in the first place. You know, Yoshinori, you were such a passionate and caring Scout that you constantly inspired me to keep fighting for Camp Buddy. I hope I can return the favor and help you enjoy your time at camp again. Sir Goro... Yeah, I miss the old Yoshi too. You were so cheerful and carefree back then, and now you spend so much of your time worrying. We just gotta get you to stop overthinking things. <laughs> well, I guess it's mostly because I've been far less busy now that we're in the off-season. Normally I'd use my time to think about what activities we'd be doing next, or how to improve everyone's experiences at camp. With the scouts gone, I don't have as many responsibilities. And I guess that's given me a lot of time to think about myself for once. Uh, I'm sorry, you two have to hear me ramble about all this. No, no, it's fine, Yoshi. You know we're always here to listen and help you with whatever's going through your head. Exactly. We all have your back here, Yoshinori. Thank you both, really. No problem, Yoshi. But I think that's enough of that cheesy talk. We're having a drink to relax and have fun. To be honest, I'm a little concerned about the authorities seeing us with these beers now. Ah, oh, come on, Gramps, live a little. What's life if you don't break the rules every once in a while? <laughs> now this does feel like old times. You used to be such a troublemaker, Aiden. Hey, I don't think we ever got ourselves into anything serious. Right, Gramps? <sighs> I'm suddenly starting to worry about you as a scoutmaster, Aiden. Don't start acting like you two are so innocent! The three of us drank plenty during last summer term! With all the new scouts coming in next year, we'll probably have to stop that. We don't want a camper catching us after all. <laughs> Yuri would be glad if we stopped. She's always scolding us for drinking anyway. <sighs> it is difficult to relax for a drink when she's upset with us. <laughs> have a couple more of those and you'll be too relaxed to let her bug you. You think something like this is enough to affect me? I drink much stronger alcohol, you know. That's true. I've seen how much you were able to put down before. I think those muscles play a big role in it also. Your jacked bod is way tougher than a few beers. You and Yoshinori as well. I mentioned it earlier, but it's amazing to see how much the two of you have bulked up over the recent years. I understand how Aiden did it, since I see him working out pretty regularly. But I wasn't aware that you trained as well, Yoshinori. 
<laughs> I have joined Aiden for a few of his workout sessions, but I do try and keep myself in the best shape possible so that I have no issues with our activities. We are an outdoor-themed camp, after all. There you go. Bringing it back to work, Yoshi. Come on! Let the beers loosen you up, too. <laughs> Aiden's right. Besides, it's not often we get to hang out together like this. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, you guys are right. We should do this more often while it's still off-season. Who knows? Maybe one of these days I'll get to see what kind of drunk Gramps is. Now that you mention it, I've only ever seen Sir Goro drunk once. <clears throat> that's classified information, Yoshinori. I know Yoshi gets really crazy when he's had too much to drink. Aiden! <laughs> I'm just kidding, Yoshi. <laughs> but really, thank you both for giving me a different perspective about this offseason. Now I have something to look forward to while the scouts aren't here. We're trying to go through the, we're trying to go for the Aiden in this. Hopefully we'll get there. I want to strengthen the bonds between us all, even more than before. <clears throat> now that's something I'm totally on board with. We shouldn't miss this chance to spend as much time as we can together. You're right, Aiden. We were all close before, but that doesn't mean there's not room for more. Okay, now I'm convinced the drinks really are going to your head. You always were a sappy drunk, Yoshi. Uh, they are not, and I am not. <laughs> you do look a tad red, Yoshinori. What? You think so too, Sir Goro? Walking back to Camp Buddy with Aiden and Sir Goro under the starry night sky made me remember some of the fond memories I had with them from back when I was a scout. We've all stayed here and done the best we could for the same reason, but the time has come to continue where our own stories left off. This season marks another chance for us to make just as many amazing memories as we had before. So it's, it's a new beginning part that we haven't seen, obviously. Some of the other parts we have seen, I, I, I did stop to where they were doing the picture because it's totally different from what was on the, uh, the demo part of the game. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's get started on day two. All right. Better make sure I don't trigger anything. Come in. Good morning. Good morning, sir, girl. You look good, sir. You look dashing, sir. Are you going somewhere today? Ah, yes. I am. I have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Clement. Oh. Oh, what's on the agenda? If I may ask. Don't worry. It's just the usual weekly meeting to discuss the progress of the sponsorship. I figured it wasn't 
worth mentioning. <laughs> you do tend to be private with your work, sir. Though I'm a bit curious, aren't you a little nervous to be meeting him today? Not at all. No, not at all. <clears throat> Why would you ask that? Well... Well, last time Mr. Claremont was here, you acted quite differently from your usual self. I mean, I've never seen you that frantic before. Hey! I was calm the whole time. I was showing him around. I made sure not to show my excellent excitement until after he left. After all, Mr. Claremont is someone I've looked up to for a long time. I didn't think I'd ever meet him in person, so his visit really caught me off guard. Hmm. His works really inspired me to do some self-reflection in the past. Right. Anyway. What brings you to the office, Sir Shinry? Actually. Oh, actually, I was planning to ask for my weekly task list, but it can wait since you're busy. I can just do maintenance tasks around the camp to keep things tip-top shape. Yoshinori! Actually, Yoshinori... Why don't you come with me today? Really? Really, sir? I don't want to get in the, your way, especially in an important meeting. Nonsense. Nonsense. Sooner or later, you're going to have to be attending these anyway. You will need a formal outfit, however. I have a spare suit here that you can use. It's older, but it should fit you. Understood. We'll leave as soon as you get changed. Yes, sir. I don't know why, but even though we're going out for a business errand, I'm really excited to be with Sir Norrell today. It's almost like those old scouting trips we used to take. It's rare that Sir Girl and I are on the road together like this, but we've hardly talked since we headed out this way. I should probably say something to break the ice. Thank you again for letting me tag along today, sir. I'm not sure how exactly I can help, but I'm glad you're letting me see what you've been working on with Mr. Claremont these past few weeks. I'm glad you're excited for this. I can tell by how much you've been fidgeting with your suit this whole time. Nah, I didn't realize I was doing that. Although, I can't help but notice the brooch you attached to it. Wasn't that the one I gave you back when you were a scout? Yes, it is, sir. I haven't seen that in years. I'm surprised you still have it. Uh, of course, it meant a lot to me, so I kept it safe. I thought it might be a bit of a good luck charm for today. <laughs> and you thought I was the one being nervous earlier. Uh... <laughs> You know, Yuri was quite jealous when I gave you that brooch. She even accused me of picking favorites among the campers. You couldn't be helped, though. You were quite the show-off when you were a scout. Oh, 
really. I hardly remember how I was back then. Not much has changed if I do say so myself. You're still the go-getting active scout that I remember. You really stood out amongst your peers, especially on that first camping trip we had. In fact, that was when I gave you that brooch. Yeah, I remember. Attention! Listen up, scouts. <clears throat> we'll be heading out on a hike to the fields in just a few moments. <clears throat> I want everyone to find their assigned partner and double check both of your gear. That's all for now. That's all for now. We'll be leaving in five minutes. Uh... Five more minutes? Can't we go already? It's been two hours since we woke up. Y Yuri! Come on, Yuri. <coughs> <coughs> We used, we used most of that time to get dressed and have our breakfast. More importantly, you know how m much all the, these checks matter. But? But you already checked our stuff. Like three times this morning. <laughs> and if I hadn't, I would, wouldn't have found out that you packed nothing but your Notebooks. <laughs> They're called fanfics. <laughs> Yuri, dear. And that's why I prepared Yoshiri with you. That's why I prepared Yoshiri with you, dear. Haha. <laughs> Is that necessary? It's only a one night trip. So, how much stuff could we need? Well,. Well, if you'd been paying attention to our lessons, you would know to bring the basics, such as your navigation tools, adequate food and water, and, first aid, and a first aid kit, and more. Sir! We packed extra clothing, bug spray, toy trees too, sir. See? See Yoshinori here. Where he took notes. Let's go already. Well, your five minutes are up, and we're all ready, so let's go. All right. All right, all right. I'll get everyone started. Okay. Okay, scouts. Form up into a line and find your buddies. We're going to begin our march. Let's go. Follow me. What's going on? <clears throat> How's everyone holding up? What's up with the grass? This path I chose for our first camping trip is a short set and safe one to help everyone final, uh, familiarize themselves with the trail for our future hikes. Don't worry. Just make sure to stay close to your buddy and keep following my lead. Alright, scouts? Yes, sir. Now. Now, some of you might be wondering why I've assigned you all in pairs. The reason for this is to improve your sense of cooperation, especially in times of emergency. <clears throat> if your team gets separated, it's important to stay calm and find a solution with your partner. On that note, you have access to your navigation tools to help 
get you both back on track. Reach your destination or return to camp. Don't worry. In case you truly get lost, do not panic. Remember to conserve your energy and stay in place. You can make use of your survival items, such as your flint, flashlight, and sleeping bag, to set up a temporary camp. Furthermore, Creating a, fine, creating a fire is especially helpful as the smoke would help rescue teams locate you faster. Is that clear? With all these survival tools and knowledge from the lessons we've had, you'll definitely be able to handle an emergency. I can't believe we're finally doing something exciting. Staying at the campgrounds all day long was starting to bore me. Yuri! Don't say that, Yuri. I'm sure Sir Girl had a good reason to keep us in the camp, and he did his best to make everything interesting there. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I did really have to did we really have to wait for two weeks to actually start our camping start camping at, at a summer camp after all I'm sure trips like these need a lot of planning and preparation to make sure everything goes perfectly besides isn't it great we get to learn all these cool New stuff from Sir Girl. <sighs> I already know all this. <clears throat> Not everyone had a head start like you did. Sir Girl. <laughs> uh, Sir Girl. Well, Yuri here has gone has been interested in nature for a long time. So most of the things I've been teaching here are things she already knows. Yeah. Yeah, Dad brought me a lot. Uh, bought me a lot of books about camping and survival. About that. Actual experience is always different, though. Just like you, most of your fellow scouts have never, been, never tried camping or exploring the great outdoors. However, <clears throat> it's my duty as a scoutmaster to prepare everyone. For a trip like this, though the exper experiences and lessons we've done so far, everything I taught you all will guarantee that everyone has a fun and safe time today. I guess. I guess you have a point, Yuri dear. Now be patient, dear. Use this opportunity to share the knowledge you've learned. But. But it sounds like Yoshi knows everything already, too. Oh! Oh. I only learned it all from Sir Girl's lessons. We're really lucky to have you teaching a diner, sir. <laughs> you look at you sucking up to my dad like that. Ah. Wow. Well, I'm just telling the truth. All the activities Sir Girl made for us back at camp were great preparations for today, especially the group ones. <laughs> we all got to know each other a lot better through them, and we learned how to work together. <laughs> you should be more enthusiastic like your Shinori here, dear. It seems like he got the point of the lessons exactly right now now shall we resume our hike we're almost at our destination oh oh on second thought I need to take this call <clears throat> um 
Attention Scouts will be taking a short break. Make sure to use this time to have some snacks and hydrate. That's all for now. I'll be right back. <sighs> Not again. Just when I thought everything was going well today. Uh-huh. What do you mean, Yuri? I'm so over it. I really don't want to talk about it. There's nothing we can do about it anyways. Are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe there's something we can do to help Sir Girl. Hmm. Pinches your shoe. Ow! What was that for, Yuri? There's no point. I told you, it's no use. Let's just stay out of it. <laughs> you don't have to pinch me so hard. Come on. Come on. Let's just distribute some snacks and water to everyone while we wait. <coughs> Ah, right. What do you mean you can't come? It's okay if you're going to be late. We don't mind waiting. How can you not have time? You know I've been playing this activity for weeks and... Oh, I must be talking to his ex-wife. Though they were still married back then, but... Yuri's been looking forward to today. Can't you understand how important this is? You're never around, Vera. This is the only time I asked you to be together, as a family. What are you even busy with? N no, I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. I know having a family was never our plan. But it's been 19 years. Just please, come over. At least for Yuri. Uh, hello? <sighs> ah, Yoshinori! Uh, sir? Is everything alright? Yes. It's just a personal matter. Nothing for you to worry about. What brings you here, though? Nothing you can solve. It's between him and his ex soon to be ex wife. I just wanted to ask when we'd start our hike again, sir. I see. I apologize for the short delay. Let me come back right away. Well, well, I also came to ask you about something I thought I could help you with, sir. Oh? What is it? If it's okay with you, I can actually lead the scouts for the rest of the hike. You don't have to worry about any of us getting lost since I've got the map memorized. Uh, oh, and we can set up the camp at the fields in advance, so... We'll have more time to do an outdoor activity for the rest of the day. I really appreciate your intentions, Yoshinori. But you don't have to take over. But, but sir... <sighs> I knew you weren't going to give up that easily. Why don't we lead the scouts together, then? I will let you take the front end of the march. And I will watch over your side to make sure everyone follows your lead. What do you think? I'd be honored, sir. Thank you for letting me help. I'll gather everyone immediately. Ah, Yoshinori. One more thing. Y yes sir? I want you to have this. It's something I made way back when I was preparing for Camp Buddy's launch. Oh, it's the same symbol that's around the camp and on our uniforms. Yes. The insignia represents the core meaning of this camp. A star that always burns bright, no matter what. Just like someone you can count on to help you through even the darkest times. 
This may not mean much right now, but I assure you, it will make sense one day. Thank you very much, sir. I'm really honored to have this. You're welcome, Yoshinori. Now let's get going. Everyone must have finished with their break. Yes, sir. Now I'm kinda embarrassed of how I acted back then. I didn't realize how much of a show-off I was. Well, it's not exactly a bad thing. I understood that you were just thrilled to be at the camp. I probably wouldn't have given you that brooch if it weren't for that quality of yours. <clears throat> uh, I, I'm not sure if I should take that as a compliment, sir. Hmm. Let's just say I just saw something promising in you. From the way you acted, to the way you were willing to lead and take charge. I wanted to give you some form of acknowledgement for it. But it turns out I was right too. Just look at how far you've come today. Thank you, sir. It really honors me to know that you place so much faith in me and my abilities. Although I have to admit, Every time you tell me that I'll be next in line for your role at camp, buddy, I always wonder if I can really do it. Come on. Where's that overflowing enthusiasm you had back then? If I had told the younger Yoshinori that he was going to be in charge, he'd never have been able to calm down. And besides, you've been leading this camp for many years now. While we had some setbacks, your performance the previous term was enough to prove that you have what it takes to carry the torch someday. You flatter me too much, sir. You know, the reason I gave you that badge is the same reason I brought you to this business meeting today. As much as I'm your superior, I want us to lead camp buddy side by side, just like we did back then. I know that your intentions are in the right place, and they go beyond, just for the sake of the camp, exactly like what I saw in you that day. Sir Goro. So, you better pay close attention to this meeting and learn something from it. Or else I won't let you come along next time. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. <clears throat> sir Goro is trying his best to open up around me. Reminiscing about the past and chatting casually it's really refreshing to be able to talk to him in such a personal level on such a personal level and not just about work I'll make sure to show sir girl that he was right to place his trust in me Oh, wow. So, this is where Mr. Claremont works. Huh. Yeah, fancy, isn't it? I was surprised to the first time I came here. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it that I can't believe that someone like Mr. Claremont really sponsored uh, Camp Buddy. Honestly. We really have to think Mr. Nag Nagami uh, and his friends for that. Well, Mr. Claremont was impressed by our camp. I think their story was really what convinced him to support us like this. Mr. Numero, uh, Mr. Claremont would like to see you now. Let's go. That's our cue. Let's go. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm feeling nervous. Just follow my lead. It'll be fine, Mr. Ray. Just follow my lead. Right. Good day. A good day, Mr. Cremont. Ah! Ah, it's been a while, Mr. Nemuro. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind, but I brought... My head scoutmaster with me today. This is Yoshinori Nagura. I apologize for not informing you beforehand. 
No problem. No problem at all. I believe we met when I visited the camp first time. Didn't we, Mr. Nagara? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you again as well, Mr. Cormac. Shall we begin? <clears throat> We're right on time. So let's get straight to business, shall we? Yes, sir. Anyway. So, I've got a bit of good news for you. As me, as you may know, a uh, little book greatest uh, memories that we've published has been on the shelves in online stores for over a month. I'd like to congratulate you both as it's our most uh, standing release yet. It generated a lot more sales than I had that we anticipated. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's really amazing. <laughs> it seemed the public recognized the potential I saw in it in your camp. It was such a breath of fresh air from anything that's out there in the market. Now. And as they say, strike while the iron is hot. The good publicity we're getting from the book is a great opportunity to vert uh, into the camp itself. With the majority of sales being allocated for upgrades around Camp Buddy, we're able to offer full sponsorship for the years behind. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for seeing the worth uh, of our camp. As I said, I believe this is more than just a business. It's about what your place stands for in this generation. I'm glad. I'm glad we're on the same page here. Moving forward. Moving forward, let's discuss our upgrade. You are familiar with the Federation of Unified Camping Boy Scouts, right? Or Bump Boys, I believe. The weird fucking scooter language. The weird thing they say on this. I swear. Fuck boys? Really? Jeez. Yes, of course. We follow their guidelines for most of our camp activities. Hmm. <clears throat> I have conducted a meeting with their association and asked for a business consultation on how to improve the camp. The insight from these professionals gave us a huge scope of profession, uh, potential upgrades with the budget that we have. Of course. Of course, with the camp's president's approval and go signal. Ah. Ah. May I ask what upgrades they uh, specifically suggested? Well. Well, we would be here all day if we discuss each and every bullet. But to give you a preference, it's mostly expansions to the camp. However, <clears throat> okay, so this is the map of the camp. So the camp is down here, down below. You can tell you, you can see the uh, Buddy Lake there. And then uh, just below the lake is the camp. And I'm taking it the circled area is the site that they want to build on. I was aware that the annex area beside the camp was meant for upgrades. This was the biggest job that they suggested. So yeah, that is area they're going to use to add more facilities to the camp. Probably more uh, 
cabins and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> the Fuck Boys Association, again with that term, I swear, figured that since we're expecting more campers next term, they would like to build more cabins and facilities. Actually, it's something we've foreseen as well. In fact, we actually began refurbishing old rundown cabins last summer in preparation for the next term. That's great! That's great. That should help us get a head start on the biggest chunk of the work. However, there are equally important suggestions on top of this, such as technology, uh, integration, gear upgrades, and a new acrylic realm to establish safety interests. Oh. Oh, this is now what I expected. I've got it covered. It'll email, I'll be, I'll email you the uh, specifics on each topic so you can consider them thoroughly. Understood. I'll make sure to review everything carefully. I appreciate all the work you've done, you've put into sponsoring our camp, Mr. Puma. I am extremely grateful. Thank you. Yes. We can't thank you enough, Mr. Puma. No problem. Like I said before, it's my pleasure to be part of your cause. Now. Now. Let's move on to discuss when the project is expected to be completed. We are going to maintain the same target of at least a month before next year's summer term begins. Hmm. I would like to raise a concern about that, sir. Just for the renovations alone, I don't think our current staff will be capable of performing the construction labor in several months time. <laughs> Why? I wouldn't put you in such an impossible situation, Mr. Nero. It's unreasonable to ask your team of uh, four people to handle all of this. On that note. I know. On that note, please allow me some time to gather the acquired manpower to Cater all of this work. I've got it covered. I've already got it covered. I signed on with a contractor who will provide us a team of professionals with the best uh, expertise to handle the work. Are you sure? Oh, isn't that too much, sir? I mean, you've already founded the entire expansion. Great work. Consider this a uh, part of the sponsorship. All you need to do it as the camp president is give me your approval on the upgrade plans we proposed. <clears throat> that and to assign one of your staff <clears throat> to consolidate with what, whichever representatives I will send to the site on my behalf. Now, isn't that uh, convenient for both of us? Thank you. It is, sir. Thank you very much for your generosity. When is our official starting date for the project, if I may ask? Let's begin. I would say as soon as possible since our deadline is tight. As a matter of fact, I can send a team as early as tomorrow to give them ample time to settle in and familiarize with the site. If that's alright on your end. Well, what? What? Tomorrow? I agree. I agree with you, sir, Mr. Kermit. I'll have my staff prepare their arrival for their arrival. We'll a lot of some of the vacant cabins, temporary housing throughout the construction. Hmm. We'll 
set a daily schedule of sent off teams by their official already until all the parent workforce has been fully mobilized at the camp. I know this may be a little overwhelming, but I assume it's not new to you <coughs> to be handling a large number of people working on a common goal. That's right. That's right. I'm confident we can manage. Then. Lastly, we have to cover the legal side of this project. If we're aiming to move in tomorrow and start immediately, we'll require the documentations and permits. About that. About that. I've been working on with the local city hall ever since the end of our previous term. The good news is that I was able to secure all the necessary paperwork. I will make the needed adjustments based on the updated scope of the updated scope we discussed today. I'll head there tomorrow and claim all the permits. Excellent. Excellent. It really shows how much you have prepared for this, Mr. Nuno. No problem. It's honestly the least I could do, sir. You can count on my staff and I to do our part throughout this entire project. <laughs> of course. Now, I believe we've covered all matters that needed to be discussed today. Understood. Indeed. We won't take up any more of your time. Goodbye. All right, then. This meeting is adjourned. We'll see each other next week for another meeting. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for today. Whew. So? How was your first uh, professional meeting? Stressful. Honestly, it stressed me out a little. <sighs> the conversation moved so fast that I didn't know when I was supposed to talk or even have time to process the information. At some point, I felt bad that I wasn't contributing anything to the discussion. Don't worry. Don't worry. I wasn't expecting you to actively participate. I understand that this was something out of your comfort zone. Regardless. Regardless, it's a good thing to experience. A busy man like Mr. Claremont can only spare us a little time, so it's important to get straight to the point and accomplish as much as possible in every meeting. I understand. I understand, sir. <laughs> you should have been... You should have seen the look on your face the entire meeting, Mashiri. You look like a little... like a lost kid in, in a mall. Yeah. Was it that bad? I hope Mr. Claremont didn't notice. <laughs> it seems like your lucky charm didn't work one bit. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know how you do it, sir. You'll get the hang of it. If you do a certain thing over and over, you'll realize it's not as complicated as you think. I have to admit. But I have to admit, it was nice to have your company here for once. 
in, it, in a way, it made me more confident having you around for the meeting. <laughs> <clears throat> also, watching you sweat from nervousness was rather entertaining. I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure if you should let me tag along next time. <laughs> So girl continued to tease and chat with me on the car ride back. It was actually really fun to see him loosen up like that. <clears throat> Time flew by and before I knew it, we were back at Camp Buddy. So girl immediately called a meeting with the other scoutmasters to prepare for the workers arriving tomorrow. So. That wraps up everything. I've given you the in-depth details of the renovations that Mr. Claremont gave me so that we're all equally clear. Whoa! This is really huge deal, Gramps. Looking at everything, this is going to cost a fortune. Well? Well, Dad said that everything in the construction will be covered by the sponsorship. That's right. <clears throat> That's right. The only things that are not covered are the miscellaneous stuff that we need. But all of that should be handled by fundraising that we did last year. Anyway. Anyway, is everyone clear on the task I've given you? Yes. Yes. I'll be uh, coordinating with the contractors tomorrow to tour them around the camp and provide them Yep. Yeah, and I'll make sure the workers are fed and keeping up their regular maintenance. Yoshinori. As for you, Yoshinori, I will give you, I will leave you in charge of overseeing the schedule we have planned for this week. I take care of I take care of the remaining. I will take care of the remaining paperwork. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can count on me. Great. Great. If we're all clear, then this meeting is adjourned. Yeah! I'm really excited. If everything goes well, I'm sure it'll be Camp Buddy's peak. Just imagine all the the activities I'll be able to do now that I have a bigger budget. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, you'll probably throw another costume party. <laughs> that was one of the best ideas I had last summer. I have plenty of other sexier ideas for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> <sighs> You know we're supposed to use the budget for improvements, Yuri. <clears throat> Yoshi is right. Let's not go overboard and stick to our plans. I know, I know. Now, why don't you two get out of your fancy suits and take the rest of the night off? Hold on. <clears throat> they do look slick and stylish in those outfits. How about we celebrate first? I have a huge huge uh, roasted chicken sitting in the oven and I'm sure it would go well with some champagne. Let's go! You might not get a chance like something like this again with how busy we'll get after all. What? You're not going to drink again? No way. Especially when we're expecting new people tomorrow. 
The last thing I want is you guys being groggy and hung over as our first impression. <sighs> as much as, as I would love to drink tonight, Telex three has a point. All right. We can celebrate with the roasted chicken, but let's lay off the alcohol for now. All right. All right. All right. No drinks for tonight, right? Yoshi and Gramps, wink, wink. Hey. Hey, I saw that. <sighs> oh, finally, your geezers are here. We've been waiting here all day. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Yuichi lives here because he's got nowhere else to go. And Taiga is here because he volunteered to help out during the off season. And that's why they're here. Yuichi. <clears throat> it's only been ten minutes. Yeah. I don't care. Time moves slower when I'm hungry. We're sorry. We're sorry about that. We just had a meeting to take care of. <laughs> you guys keep acting so busy, even when there's nobody here. And I bet you forgot about us again. I haven't even seen any of you since yesterday. Ugh. He's always like this when he's when it's feeding time. I told him we could just heat up whatever's in the fridge. No. No way. I'm no way I'm eating leftovers again. Besides, I can smell their hiding the goods here. This nose doesn't lie. Yuichi. Well today is your lucky day, Yuichi. Aiden cooked up something special for dinner. <laughs> I better get that ready to serve before Yuichi loses it. Be right back. What's going on? <clears throat> so, what's up with the suits? It's been a long time since I've seen you guys wear something so formal. Uh. <clears throat> we had a meeting with Mr. Claremont earlier today. Who? Why? Uh, why do you dress like uh, pimps or for a morning meeting? <sighs> I think I spend so much uh, on this outfit just to look like that. <laughs> pimps have a lot of money too, you know. Yoichi. There's no way either of us. Especially if Sugoa would do something like that. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sip. <sighs> hmm. Uh, what was the meaning about anyway? It must have been super important for you guys to dress up like that. Actually, it was a huge deal. Actually, Kato's book did so well on the market that Mr. Claremont offered an even bigger budget to improve the camp. Is that clear? With the sponsorship going into effect, things aren't going to be busy from now on. And I expect you both to do your best to help out as much as you can. I can't wait! Not sure about Yuichi here, but I've been waiting for something to work on Time here has been really slow during the off season, after all. Hey. Hey, it's better than dying of boredom. These muscles could use some working out, anyways. That's the spirit. Now that's the spirit. I hope you'll keep that positive attitude for when 
All the new workers arrive tomorrow and start working. Uh, oh, great. New people. Please? Please at least try and get along with them, Yuichi. Well. Well, I guess I could use some new faces around here. But I'm tired of seeing Dynamite and hearing him nag every day. Shut up! You're the one to talk. You're one to talk. Being stuck here with you is so exhausting. It made me miss having everyone on knee around it instead. <laughs> Same goes for you. I'd rather hang out with Mr. Perfect and, or Twinkerbell or even that annoying torch head. Aww. Oh, look at you guys missing your friends. That's really cute. Have you been keeping in touch at least? Yeah. Yeah, we have. Even though everyone has started getting busy with their own things, we still find time to catch up with each other. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that time we had a group call was kind of fun. Better than ha hearing Dynamite's annoying voice all the time. Ugh. Well? Aren't you two getting along just nicely? Sorry. Sorry, it took so long. I had to whip up some mashed potatoes too. Ugh. Great, I'm starting. Hey! Hey, stop hogging all the food. Save the th thigh part of the chicken for me. Catch you later. You snooze, you lose. Now, now. There's plenty for everyone. I mean, everybody. Be right back. I'll go set the table. <laughs> I told you, you, you're already doing a good job. Just look how, how much these two have grown. You're right. You're right, sir. I couldn't be prouder. Come on. Why don't you join them? We had a long day, and I think we've learned, earned a good meal. Right. After a busy day ha handling all the camp's business with Sir Girl, we made sure to enjoy our time together. Just the six of us. Knowing how much change has was coming starting tomorrow, it makes me feel thankful for the simple times like this I get to spend with everyone. <laughs> Day three. So, I'm going to save it in, in, in it there. Uh, my next recording, of course, will be... Yeah, there's too much back now, so. There, cut some more sound down. Anyway, the next recording, I'll, I'll be back on uh, the original Camp Buddy game. Doing uh, the Natsumi route. So, until then, don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button for those of you who haven't done so already. And thank you again for watching on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out my Patreon account and become a Patreon contributing member. I'd really appreciate it. All the funds that go in there, uh, membership funds that go in there. Go directly to a worthy charity, so you'd be doing a, a great thing by helping out the community of worthy charities that, that need the funds. And of course, I will announce your name at the end of every video to show appreciation as well. <clears throat> so, you, and you, again, you can find the link to my Patreon uh, just below the video. So, until next time, I will see you guys later.